Um, <laughs> we started a rave up in here. <laughs> and after that performance, I gotta be honest. know how it is baby just like that Mountain Dew that motivation it's flowing feel it I feel it down in my plums I can feel it all the way down in my plums getting all swollen with a light blue hue to them fresh and juicy ready for the picking you know what I mean down in my plums okay what are we doing um we're gonna tear this GT40 intake off we're gonna uh bolt down that grindhouse truck lower we're going to take the valve covers off we're going to put uh we're going to take those one sixes off we're going to throw those cobra one sevens on and we'll just kind of kind of get a little mock-up going here we're also well you'll see it we got a different radiator and stuff like that and we've got a lot of work we don't have a lot but we have a lot of work to do before this car is even drivable or runnable or anything like that so um, but so we got to get to work on it, but the more we get done, the sooner we get it done, the sooner it'll be running and it'll be driving and racing before you know it. And, um, you know, but right now we just want to get it running. So if you got a bunch of questions about what we're going to be tuning and doing all this kind of stuff, all we're worried about right this minute is getting it running. And I've already sent David all the specifics on, you know, what the combination is and this, that, and the other. And, um, He's, you know. Or, you know, at least do some finger banging. <laughs> finger banging, can, can you please elaborate? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your first finger, your thumb, and your middle finger. Make a come here motion, like, hey, come here. This is called the machine guns, or the friendly scissors. It's called the circle of pleasure. He's finger banging us up a, something to, you know, maybe get it running, or get it running where it's halfway decent, and then we'll just see, we'll just go from there, but can't do nothing until it's all bolted together and it's running, then we can start figuring out all the problems that we're gonna have. So let me get to, get some stuff out, let me get to work. This is the radiator that we will be using. And it gives us more room, we're gonna have to get creative with a piece of pipe, we're, we'll figure it out. We, we ain't scared to cut something up now. You know what I'm saying? We don't have the magical Vortec 2, which costs like, 50 or 60 dollars which i'm not paying 50 or 60 dollars for a freaking piece of pipe i'll i know I, i'll find some circle track crap or just find some crap out here and just you know do what we do we'll substandard it right on up um <clears throat> but anyway now we can go ahead and uh um i'm gonna say take the intake loose i think i'm gonna go ahead and yeah we'll just go ahead and do that so uh Let's slip into a time lapse. That don't put a little blood in your pouch. I don't know what does. So um, hold on. Here we go. Ugh. China's finest right there. But <clears throat> don't laugh because, um, well, I mean, you can if you want, but we're going to put these in Rob Zombie. So upgrade. Ultimately, I would like to put the uh, E7s that we originally had in Pro Stock. Um, in Rob Zombie with like these one with these one sixes. So, but right now we might we'll probably just we'll just do the rockers because what's going to happen is is I'm going to swap the intake on Rob <clears throat> for the main the main reason is. <laughs> is because I don't have a, uh, a uh, 
track heat or street meat upper to lower gasket. I don't have a spare. Nobody that we race with, I don't think, has one. So, and it's already damaged. So if, when I take the intake off and put the rockers on, I'm, I'm like, I'm just going to go put the ported Cobra on or ported Explorer on and be done with it. To be perfectly honest, I'm not a fan of the way the, those intakes look anyway. But it's not technically my intake, so I'm just sticking on the shelf and We'll figure it out at some point. Whoever did this didn't do me any favors because this is actually supposed to be like remote mounted and I guess, and I've got it kind of jury rigged hooked up, um, and I guess whoever had this, you know, they had it running on speed density or, you know, they had some kind of, you know, they were tuning it themselves and you know, they didn't have mass air. I guess. And that's why they just had it where it was open. It didn't research. So, whatever. All right. Um, I guess I'm going to cut you guys off because I'm, as exciting as this is, yeah, it's not really that exciting. But I figured while we're here, Let's just go ahead and get them 17s in there. Because, I mean, let's be honest. Big Boost and Big Tony, they like to party, dude. They like to party. So, all right. Let me cut you guys off and finish this up. I think you get the gist of what's happening. And if you don't, go buy third gen Camaro. We done got the... Cobra's on, one sevens. We're not gonna, we're not gonna turn this thing very hard. You know, like six grand, maybe, you know. That's, that's, it, the, that's our theory right now. <laughs> so, we'll stop push rods and stuff. We'll be all right with all that crap. Um, we're probably gonna blow a head gasket on it or, or something well before anything with the valve train gives us an issue. We're, we're, we're crazy like that. And once you put this big boost, hit it in the caboose, things start breaking. We will definitely break something. Promise, promise. One other thing, I mean, don't mind all this stuff. It's, it's most of a Mustang. Um, to put, uh, to add to what I was saying about uh, the porting that David did, this is a stock. 8.2 truck lower you see it's got that crazy EGR thing right there this is what a stock truck lower looks like and this is what it looks like once David has gotten done with it now I got bad eyesight but even I can see the difference on that David put the whammy on it but yeah that's the deal and it's probably hard to see but he even worked the top look right like right here look at how thin we've gotten you know he's hey he did some work on this thing i appreciate it. it's going to be pretty awesome um like i say the intake is not going to be a problem but like i said you look at those you look at that and then you look at that <laughs> so Anyway, just thought I'd show you the guy that uh, show you guys that real quick before I slapped her on. We got to get a thermostat gasket for it. Can just make one out RTV, but I'm like a I'm weird about stuff like that. Okay, we got it set on. Now I'm gonna get the torque wrench and torque it down, and uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll time lapse that. I don't know. One day we'll probably relocate that, whatever. Um, thermostat, I mean, tip gauge, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, we can throw the valve cover and put the rails on and we can set the intake on the upper.
okay. I mean, it's starting to look a little like something, look a little, like a little something now. So we've got a, uh, with our box upper, we have a Fanola spacer. It's, it says like a 3 8 might be half an inch. But, um, and got, more importantly, got all the studs. Anyway, start bolting this on. All right, <laughs> that is a very rough mock-up. Um, the studs are too long because the way they fit in here, they're right up against the uh, intake. So I'm gonna have to take them home and cut them down a little bit. And uh, we'll see where we're at, at after that. So anyway, <laughs> that's basically what it's going to look like. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I have no idea how long it is. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up. It's a decent stopping point. I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to get to work on it again. Maybe some this week. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but we are going to try and work on it some next week and uh, get us closer and closer and closer to being able to fire this thing up. But um, we are just in assembly mode now. We've got the intake that we wanted. Now we just gotta figure out some of the packaging and uh, get the rear end put together. And, um, you know, I gotta put a rack on it. And then, I, I know that's a lot of work. And then we'll be, I probably need a drop gas tank too. And uh, we gotta put a full pressure gauge on it. I ordered a boost gauge. So um, we gotta wire, to wire up the MSD6. I gotta get the chip from David. I mean, we got stuff to do, um, but you know, it could. We just need a few things to go our way, and then we'll we'll be ready to roll. So anyway, um, thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you guys support the channel. Myself, Big Tony, what a kid. We all appreciate it. Doctor Fear. I mean. He never says thanks about anything, but he gets, he collects his paycheck when he wants it. Yeah. So, um, well, I appreciate you guys a whole lot. And, uh, especially thanks for watching. And until next time on the substandard leader in Fox body videos, one year only Lincoln's for drag bands and the home of big boost and big Tony. And as always fighting a good fight against Dr. Fear. We'll see you guys in the next video.